Hello, guys, welcome to another video, I'm here today in production, I came to show you a little kit that we're going to put together on a motorcycle that's over at Maraca, over at the other store, at Auto Gyro Motor Riss. let's get to the video. I'm here, guys, look, with a 67 kit, okay, it's a 160 cylinder. Look at this piston here, look, it's a 192.5, okay? That gives 67, look at this pretty little piston. I'm going to make some holes now, the guys are going to finish grinding here, okay? Look. So, here we are with the cylinder on the honing machine here to do the honing, right? To make the opening here and throw it over there on the honing machine to do the finishing there to leave the gap just right, okay? I'm going to make the holes here and we're going to go up there to show you what a motorcycle it is and the step-by-step -step assembly of this project here. Hey, guys, look. Let's make the little hole here. The little control will be a little control made with a raw shaft. It won't be a very big control, nothing exaggerated, it's like a little street bike on gasoline. Look, the exhaust hole is already made here, guys. Look, now I'm going to make the intake. Intake car, guys. Here I can adjust it, look, to where I want, everything is perfect. Here I adjust it hard, look, as much as I want. And here is the advance, look. Very cool, cool, engineering, look, look. This way. Here I film and make the hole at the same time, huh. You film. Edit and edit. You really are the man, huh, crazy? Look, a little more. It's ready, guys. Mark, guys. So, look, little piston that's already made. I make a nice hole. Okay. Well, let's see what camshaft we're going to develop for this engine. If there's no need to use a large camshaft, then maybe I won't need to use a piston with the camshafts like this. I can use the piston with the original camshaft, the way it was, okay? So I'm going to take two pistons there for the guys to assemble and we'll see what camshaft they want to develop and if they're going to use a piston like this with a camshaft, right? Or if they're going to use the original camshafts. Then we'll unroll it at the other store. I'm going to wait for the guys to finish the kit here. As soon as they get back from lunch, we'll start it up and show you the bike that this project here is going to be assembled. Guys, I just got here at the store, look. Here's the engine, look. Little piston that I made the camshafts for, right? It has the rings in place. Here's the cylinder head kit. Original cylinder head, no work will be done on it. And here's the big engine, guys, look. So, the original lower engine. We're going to make the clutch. I'm going to talk a little bit about this clutch here. I'm going to make a specific video about this clutch here. It's going to be in a future video. The clutch that arrived for us to test, we're going to test it and give feedback on this clutch here. But it's going to be a specific video just about the clutch, okay? So in this video here we're going to be using, just like I showed you, a little Zama Piston 67. Look, it's a little piston 192.5, that tough, quiet little control. Look there, look. Look, a light crossover control, a 61, 62 control. We have the link to all these kits, all this type of preparation in the description of this video, okay guys? So, we're going to do the pre-assembly here, show you how the height will be right here. Look, guys. Look, pre-assembly engine done. Look here, it's already at the maximum upper point here, look, little gasoline engine here, right? It's going to be, right? Look here, when you think it's cool, did you see here? It's this mount, right? It's when it's really full. Look at the height. No, I haven't even gotten there. Fabricio is measuring it. Remember that it's going to come with the bottom gasket. It's going to come with the top gasket. No, the bottom gasket. Fabricio is going to assemble it without the gasket. He wants to do it to get the rate right. Oh, I get it. That's it. Right, Fabricio? That's it. Look. Oh, if I knew I would have taken a little bit here. Then, down there. But okay, then. So he said the service will be good and I want him to do a test too. That's it, guys. And the customer wants a good bike. Even if it's a street gas bike. 
But the customer wants something that has torque, something cool, strong, right? Look. So, the bike will get a good gas mileage. The controls are already done. This little control here is not a very big control, but it is a control. I think if it is a 62 or 64 control here. This is probably a 64 control here. Okay guys? So, look, remembering once again, if you want any type of part that you are seeing in this video, just go to the video description and there will be links there. For those who are curious, that's it, look. Look, let's take the measurement here so we can see the lift of this control. This one here is a 5958 control, look. It's 59, practically 460. This one here is the level number one. This one here is number one. Yeah, this is number one. It's what I like to mount the most on motorcycles so it has a good adjustment, right? That's it, look. 61, that's it, 6159, that's it, that's it, guys. So this is the level one control. It is a practically silent control. It's not a noisy command, and the adjustment of this bike is ATL. This bike won't use it, and I recommended that he do a remap. I saw a sticker here from Atlan yesterday, but this bike already had at. Oh, I see, it already had, yeah. He already brought it to us to make adjustments, but then he sold it and now he's going to assemble the kit again. So he's going to adjust this kit only on the nozzle. Only with the nozzle. We've already told him that it's not ideal, but for now he'll stay like this. In the future, he'll install the remap, as we've already discussed. So that's it, guys. Also, if you want to do a remap, you can bring your bike here. We do remaps for any type of bike. Just bring it and we'll untangle it. Cylinder head, like I showed you, you use the original head, you won't have to do any duct work or anything. It's just an upgrade of the piston, because the bike will go to 218cc with this piston here, okay? 67 with 63 stroke, okay? And remembering once again, I'm going to make a specific video about the clutch. This bike here, to anticipate, will use a slipper clutch. It's a new clutch that came from China and came for us to test. If it works well, if it's a top clutch, we'll be able to bring you an import of this slipper clutch for low displacement bikes. Remember that the first bike, one of the first bikes that came with a slipper clutch was the R15, right? In fact, the Ninja 400, the new 500, even the 300 was already a slipper, right? Or not? The 300 was too. Ninja 300. Actually, I didn't open it for myself, but from what I see I think it's like that. And now for low displacement, the R15, right? For those who know the launch of the Yamara R15, it came with a slipper clutch. Now we're going to put a slipper clutch on this engine here. We'll leave content only about the clutch for the next video. We're going to show you how it all works, how this clutch works and whether it can really handle the load or not. Okay, guys? Well, there's no big secret here. Now, all you have to do is assemble it, okay? Here's the clutch, look, I showed you. This one is a slipper clutch, okay, guys? But we'll talk about it in a future video, okay? So, I'm going to wait until the assembly is done and then we'll go out for a little ride. Wait for this rain to stop and then it's time to shift gears, guys. Come on, let's test this bike here. Piston Zeno 67 is going to test it right here on the avenue here. I'm not going to take the highway or anything because the focus here is not on testing speed, top speed or anything. I want to feel the engine, feel the torque and then, after the customer gets used to it and decides to bring it to us, we'll do a physical test for another video, then we'll get started. Yeah, it's nice, huh, guys? Remember that there will be a future video talking about the clutch, okay? So, I'm not going to mention anything about this clutch here, it'll be for the next video, which will be just a toast, guys. My goodness, guys. The transmission is altered here, the dashboard shows wrong, right? So we don't have a correct speed here, right, bro? Yeah, it's a crown of life here, look. Crown 34. So, we don't have a beer speed here, so there's no lack of speed. But here's the emo bike. The park is cool, huh, guys? Horsau is a monster, huh? Crazy. I'm going to test it on the machine now. Oh, it's turned. Run, 
crazy, mad, mad. This little bike is nervous, guys. It's pretty tight with just the bike, huh? There's no kind of map, nothing. It's an original central unit with just a nozzle from the XRE 190. Here the guy put a little kit from 67. Remember, if you want to buy this kit or command, any part, also a high flow one. In this case we also have one, just click on the link in this video, guys. There you have all the purchase tips, right? It's strong on the bike, man. I think we're going to like it, kid. Dude, and it works, man. It's really cool anyway, man. I liked it, huh? Release the customer's bike. And that's it, guys. So, look, in the next video we're going to take a ride to do some clutch tests, and to see if the clutch will lock the wheel, right, which is a slipper clutch here. It's a launch clutch that came from China for testing and if it works out well, we're importing this clutch so we can sell it to you. But first, we'll have to test it and approve it, so that we can then get it going and sell an excellent product that won't let you down, right? So, that's it, guys. We're leaving it here. The bike is approved. Huh, Carval? The bike is top notch, huh? Damn. Top, 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 top. The bike is here. You're going to have to watch this part catch fire when it gets hot, bro. Yeah, right? Because there's no reason. You needed a little control unit here, right, bro? Yeah, the right thing is to be regular, right? Like this one here. Look, right. Question mark. This one here, for those who watched the last video I posted, I showed it. This one here is already a remapped control unit, guys. But that's it, we have to wait for the customer's pocket to be our guide, right? If the customer doesn't have the means now, we have to do our best according to what he has to spend. So, we're going to leave it here, until the next video. Video and that's us.